that shit on TNT. All right, y'all, check this out. Today is gonna be the day that we dropped the last video, which was me showing y'all my rims. Now, we're on the way to the car wash. We're gonna wash the car one more time. I need to clean the inside of the car. I was supposed to do that for the last video, but I literally told Loudy, shout out to Pack a Punch. I told him I was gonna be there at three o'clock. I don't have a thumbnail, so I gotta go there, take a thumbnail of the car, send it to the thumbnail editor so he can make the thumbnail for the video for y'all that y'all already seen so yeah i ain't gonna lie i kind of bullshit i was in bed so we kind of like late but we not late we're gonna grab a car wash real quick just to make sure outside of the car is clean we're gonna take some instagram pictures i'm gonna see how we get to the car wash all right so we just got let into the car wash they finna get the car squeaky clean man you know how that finna go i ain't gonna lie no air in this motherfucker is crazy then we got it. Boom. All right, we good, we good, we good. So we in here, they just gave me a car fresh. And last time they gave me these, uh, these dashboard wipes. I ain't gonna lie, I need to use these. So yeah, we might do these when we get the pack a punch, but we gonna let them wash the car real quick. I ain't gonna lie, these are not like them hard ass bristles. These bristles, I actually felt one in the last video. It's like foam. And I ain't gonna lie, the, the window panel back here was coming off, so hopefully it don't get no water. Yeah, it got water last time. So we're gonna have to just take that piece off, but it's getting hot in here. I'm about to start recording. We're gonna just see how after the car wash is over. Hey, no Diddy, this shit low key give me wet as hell. No cap. But we damn near done. And I don't want to see none of y'all niggas coming up here. Because you niggas already burnt fucking bed wash out. Straight up, bro. But yeah, we're going to wait. We're going to park up real quick so y'all get to see the outside and that thing like that. I just told Lyle that we was on the way. Yeah, I know he waiting on me. Boom, put that in drive. Pull up out of here. We're gonna have to shrink the windows. Maybe we could just put this back for a little minute, but we're gonna shrink the windows for sure because I don't got no air in this car. So, yeah. Let's pull up now here. Park real quick. Let's go out, show these fuck nigga. What a motherfucker call a lie. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, check this out. I ain't gonna lie. They got me right. The car is clean. Only thing they can't really do is. Like the Brembo's, I ain't gonna lie. It, then by them being white, it's like the dirt stick out. So I might have to just clean them by hand. I got the little Brembo cleaner or brake cleaner, but the new rims looking crazy. It's like I'm a fucking race car driver. So many people ask me, do I race? Cause I got this fat ass 275, 45, 20 on the back. So damn, we literally drag race. I want y'all to see how fat the tire is. Like, look. Like, that shit look like some crazy shit. Like, literally, so, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna hit it with the, with the air gun a little bit, just on, like, the rims and shit. And then, uh, we're gonna be on the way to Packer Punch, but these tires are gonna be get, coming off the car very soon. They damn near already bought, so they're gonna come off and we're gonna put the 275 4020s back on the car, and it's gonna look like it's supposed to look. I only put the 45s on it because I had found the deal on them at the time, so... I could have sworn people said DPD can't pull you over on the freeway. And it's literally a DPD officer right there. Oh, he turned the lights off now, but he had the lights on. He behind the car, like pulling them over type shit. I thought that was out their jurisdiction, but I guess not. So if y'all got me on Instagram, y'all seen the pictures that we dropped for the rims. It's on the Instagram page. This is where I met, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's why y'all gotta follow me on Instagram because y'all would have seen this today it dropped and be like, damn, he got the hardest car. Y'all would have been able to like the picture and everything and show me love and run the engagement up. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm just obsessed of how they look. Like, oh my God, like, look at this, y'all. So let's let the car wash. Tire shine slung all on there. That's what that is. So don't even trip. But the car, like, is officially done. 
with the way this is going to look. So um, I'm not going to keep talking our hair off. I'm about to take the thumbnail. Um, I actually think I need help taking the thumbnail. So T supposed to pull up. I don't know where he is at. And uh, yeah, this thing looks like crazy, y'all. A few minutes later. So we just got to pack a bunch. It took a little while. I ain't gonna lie, I had to grab some McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? On the cheap side of things. But it's gonna be Lardy's first reaction. Uh, the car with the no ones. You know what I'm saying? Where the fuck he at? So we fucking trying to get some ice cream. He only told Bro, why are you still recording, bro? <laughs> bro, you still my content, bro. No cap. Give me this, give me this cookies and cream sandwich. This big juicy one right here. You don't got no more? You know what? Let me get the chocolate on chocolate ice cream sandwich. Scrape business. Bro, would it be crazy? Thank you. If I get, would it be crazy if I get the Bro, not if you don't. And this ain't no Diddy party either. We don't gotta give, and we don't gotta give nothing up. A lot of y'all sell y'all so the next day. Uh, so check this out. We have a new day. Let me put this seatbelt on because this shit already like gonna piss me off with this beef and this shit. So in the last video, we got the new rams put on the car. It's saying the passenger seat unbuckled because they think it's a fucking person right here. So I told y'all in the last video that I was selling my old rims. These are the old rims. I got one right here. I got two in the back. And then I got one inside the trunk. So let me put this seatbelt on this one, cause this shit ain't gonna stop. Literally, gotta buckle the damn. Dang, who is that? Literally gotta buckle that up. So like I told y'all last video that I was selling the rims. I got one up here and I got two back there. And we are gonna meet the guy at Baywatch. It's a random guy from Marketplace. I don't know if he watched the videos or none of that. You know what I'm saying? But he finna come grab them. We finna get rid of them. And then let me know what we used to do with the money like I honestly i want to invest it of course but how should i invest it or what should i do with it so i'm going to invest it i'm going to invest it back into the channel somehow some way so the sticking on you got to go sell the rims i ain't gonna lie i got on jeans today y'all know i'll be wearing like uh jogging pants and like adidas track pants and shit like that but i ain't gonna keep talking y'all head off we're about two minutes away and then, um, yeah. So I'm gonna give y'all one last look. These are the SRT392 rims, OEM. You know what I'm saying? Straight from the factory when this came out. This is the 2015 SRT392. This is not a scat pack, but I ain't gonna lie, this weather is crazy not to have no air. 85 degrees and we don't got air. Like, pray for your boy. It's hot as shit. Just telling y'all how I was gonna pull up and sell the rims. We just sold the rims. And they got a YouTube channel, so y'all can shout y'all stuff out. Hey, All right, so y'all gonna show them some love. They just got the rims. You gonna put it on the 300? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be tough. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see y'all in it. Hell yeah, yeah. That's uh. One side is my dad. That's, I call it the Memorial SRT. So it's the birthday, death date. One side and the other side, my auntie. Okay. It's right here, and it's on the hood. This bitch just did me. Yeah. You gotta go to Packer Punch, man. Packer Punch, man. So, yeah. so, how, so how did he like? He it's, just, it's just a sticker, Brody. It's a sticker under it. Oh, under yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, see you on the flip side. Later that day. Now, in the earlier part of the video, y'all seen when I was selling the SRT rims. Now, Viker sent me another package. I don't know if I told y'all that, but in the back seat, as y'all see, we got a red box. Viker sent me some five inch tips. Now, a while ago, I told y'all we was gonna be doing something crazy to the car. And uh, it's going on real soon. So maybe within the next video or two, it's gonna be going off. So y'all gotta just stay tuned and just be ready for that. So I ain't gonna lie, like the car is empty with gas. Like the gas station I was trying to go to had like too many motherfuckers there. So I ain't even stopped. I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to be in and out. So we could hop down on 94 for a second and then come up, grab some gas. And then I'm gonna see y'all when we get there. Now right, we gonna make this shit short and brief. We are in the motherfucking trenches. We are on Van Dyke and, and the freeway. And Van Dyke in 94. So we finna pump some gas real quick. Look at the SRT looking real good. I just cleaned the car yesterday. So that's why everything's shining. It's all beamed up. Guys, that's all we need for our motherfucking day. Make, let, let, let it click. It ain't even click, but it's all done. Do that. 
Let's break that motherfucker a little bit. And uh, we finna get out of here. Right, so we just pulled up here. Um, he already said we good to get the cats cut and the five inch tips put on. He ain't even got nobody in here for us. So we can come in easy and out. So we'll get in here easy and out. I don't know if they're gonna put me right here or not, but the SRT looking <sighs> so clean. Look at the car, man. I ain't gonna lie, I love the rims. Like, if y'all have not seen the last video, we add new, we added new rims to the car. I believe that was the last video. I don't know what that leak is, but it's not coming from my car. But I'm about to go back in here. They say they can get us in here nice. And you know what I'm saying? Nice and fast and spiffy, you know what I'm saying? Like that. But before we get the cat's cut, I'm gonna give y'all a few revs. <laughs> Yeah, they finna pull it in here. We finna add the five inch tips. Oh, yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Gang finna boil some shit. <laughs> These wheels stick out, so you might wanna go that, that way. That nigga was about me a fucking hellcat. This boy looks so good from the back. Like, no diddy. So, as y'all see here in the comments, I told y'all to put the five inch tips on the car because look at these tiny tips. These tips are tiny. You can come in. Tiny as hell, like look at them, and then you stay back where it was at. So, shout out to Mike. We got a new camera person, so y'all be easy in the comments. So, y'all see them baby tiny tips, and then look what we about to put on here five inch tips. Shout out to Mike, because right here, you get it right here. Now, come over here, look at I don't know what size this is. This might be like three inch, but look at that compared to this. So, this is gonna fill out this whole little area right here. So. Shout out to Bikers, I appreciate y'all so much. Everything Bikers has, it's gonna be the link inside the description. Tell them eBay sent you. We don't have a, a discount code or nothing. We are gonna work on that soon though, but this is the second thing they gave me for free. They gave me the rims, front and back. So I appreciate y'all for that so much. I just wanted to give y'all a look at the five inch tips. We gonna get the cats coming, and walk y'all up there and show y'all what we gonna get cut. And uh, yeah, y'all, I'm about to show y'all what we about to cut. We're gonna cut the cats off. So, this is the first cat, this is the second cat. I ain't gonna lie, under this car is literally hot as shit. So, I'm about to get from up under here because it's literally steam. We're gonna cut the cats off, boom, boom. And then for the tips, we're gonna leave the resonators on for the tips. They're gonna make a cut right here to put the new tips on on both sides. And we should be in and out. What the tires look like? I thought my tires were like. Really bald, they not that bald, but it is time for tires soon. I got a little bit of tread, tire ain't shit, y'all. But the cars all lifted up, they got copyright plans, so hopefully, y'all don't hear that too much. Those chains, look at the car so much, they got the car looking so sexy. Like, oh my god, like, like too sexy, y'all. Oh my god. God. Here again, the cats cut and the five inch tips put on. So shout out to my guy, what's your name? Ali. Where you at? Let them know to come get their mids cut off and everything like that. Thank you, Ali, safe way. Safe? Uh, six miles, 17321 McKibbins Road. So 17, what is it? 17321 McKibbins Road, Southfield is six miles. I'm gonna have his address in the description. Y'all come here, tell him eBay sent you. Y'all come get your cats cut off, get your five inch tips put on, cause I ain't gonna lie, he helping your boy out, you know what I'm saying? I had him fix this too, like to screw this in or something. Cause when I cold start the car, like started in general, this is loose, this is for the active exhaust. All I do is just hear this like rattling and shit in the morning. It's too. Yeah, this shit always back. So I know a lot of people scats. It is for the active exhaust. It's gotta be screwed in a little bit. So a while ago, I had my car parked for like a week or two. I came back and my check engine light was on for the cats. And I figured nothing happened, but like a rat was up in here somewhere cutting on the O2 sensor wires. 
And look what we see. The wires definitely have been cut, but they finna come off anyway. So it was definitely rats biting on that. But check into like, when it come off O2 sensors, like for no reason for real. I'm about to put five inch tips, but look at these six inch tips. That'd be like, that's like, would you put on a big ass turbo diesel trucks? Six inch tips is crazy compared to these right here. Look at the difference, y'all. Like, that's crazy. Hell no. So the first thing they gonna do, they gonna take the tips off. I believe it's like a little 14 millimeter bolt. They gonna take this one off, then they gonna take this one off. So they gonna unbolt them with just a little bolt right here. So I believe that's what it's hanging off. Oh, it's a 13? So that's what's keeping it on the 13 millimeter. Basically, you just put the other ones up to it, make sure they line and fit it real good, and then just screw it up, and that's gonna be it. So he tried to take them off, he couldn't get it taken off. Yeah, I do see it. Here in the back. Yeah, I see it. But I ain't gonna lie, these the stock tips tortured up to get this off, and then he about to work on getting the cats cut. I'm gonna get as close as I can to show y'all. So we got the first one took it off, and then the second one is almost there. So the O2 sensors was keeping this hanging right here. What inch pipe you all put it? We're gonna go from uh, two and a half to two and a quarter, or from three to two and a half. Okay, man. And instead of getting a cat's cut, a lot of people just gut they cats. Put the car in the air, and like the cat got something in the inside to keep it like quiet. So they basically hollow it out and beat it out. So a lot of people do that, or just cut it off in general. Well, y'all, this is where I'm at. Safeway brakes and tires, 313-635-5849. Come see him. Get all your exhaust needs. I told y'all he had to get the torch to heat up the wells right there. So I'm going to show y'all that from a distance because, god damn, that's a huge ass motherfucker flying right there. A few minutes later. With the second one off, the five inch tips for the go on. The cats are already cut. They're going to put the pipes where the cats go, weld it up, put the tips back on, bolt that back. That's literally all that's going to be. We're about to be done in a minute. And then I'm going to give y'all some pulls, some revs, all that type of good stuff. So the first tip finna get put on right now. Yeah, so basically like as close as this piece, you know, like a nice. Try to get it centered. Yeah, hell yeah. It's close, so it won't like be like an uneven gap or like no weird gap or nothing like that. That look up you right there. Yeah, that look cool. He just tried to weld it. He said it was too much rust on our tailpipe. He couldn't get the good weld. So he basically was finna clear some rust off of it so it can make a good contact onto the pipe. And he said we're knocking the rust off so I can get better contact and get a good weld. So good? Yeah. Well, we got the first tip, the passenger side tip, and it's on there pretty good. I just want to make sure it was lined up and everything good. We're gonna get the driver's side done, then we gotta put the pipes for the cats. Y'all, I'm so ready to switch to a camera. My phone has 4%. I came out the house unprepared, really to record and stuff, so we're fucked. 12 seconds later. This is a $20,000 pipe bender. It makes our pipes so we get the right angle. We got the angle adjustments. You got all the dies, three inch pipes. If you want to bend the three inch, two inch, two and a quarter, one inch, one and three quarters, whatever you want to bend, we'll bend it. You want to expand it, we expand it. This the newest, uh, Ben Pearson, okay. international, it's a top of the line pipe bender. It's meant for customizing vehicles. So we specialize in it. Not many people know what we do. Okay, yeah, it's all like he got some good equipment. That's why y'all to come up here to Safeway. Oh, McNichols. Pipes they came up with for the cats. We are about to be out of here. We're going to do a run test just to make sure we don't have any leaks. The check engine light is going to be on, but it's only going to stay on for like a few seconds. We're going to hear how the car sounds. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to lie, I say, it's way more aggressive. Like, this by the song of that, the car sounds loud as fuck. Like, loud as hell. Now, the tips, it's off the tips are not lined up right. I ain't gonna lie, if I'm paying for this, it's gotta be right. You know, I've been here for three hours, literally, in counting, and they got a six to six. Like, if I'm paying for it, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Now, Greg Tiffany had a lot of shit going on. 
like people just coming in, bum rushing them and stuff. So it's not their fault. Plans fuck up. I'm not taking it personal. So y'all can still come up here. Just make sure everything right. We all come up here and get y'all shit done. Later that day. We are done with the cats being cut and the five inch tips being installed. I just took the thumbnail. I'm gonna do a few reds for y'all real quick. Just enough for the video right now. We're gonna get up tomorrow and finish the rest. <laughs> Our team pulled up, helped us with those clips. I'm gonna see y'all in the morning. This shit been crazy. Hopefully, it's loud as crazy. I ain't gonna lie, it already sound crazy as hell. We'll see y'all in the morning. The next day, hey, bro. Hey, my trains aren't even ready. I was chilling. My trains. My trans not even ready. And we going gas. This catless shit make you burn so much gas. 12 seconds later. From that little bit of footage, y'all see me and T in check. We got the Memorial SRT. Then what's the name for the car again? Scat pack. A scat pack like any other <laughs> any other black kid would have. <laughs> Especially in Detroit. Anyways, we are going to be doing... Uh, I don't want to say it's like a red battle, but I want to show the difference between... A Catless 392 and a, um, this uh, mid muffler delete. So I'm Catless and I got my mids cut. So I ain't gonna lie, it is a crazy difference. Cause as you tweak it, I'm bringing out the house a lot. Hey, hey, you got that nigga though. <laughs> hey, fuck nigga that though. Fuck nigga that though. So from what you heard of the car already, it being Catless. How does it sound, bro? Compared to like, it's like the difference now, bro. Like it's like a piercing type of loudness. It sounds deeper too, but like if you're on the side of it when it's revving, bro, it like it pierces a little bit. Like you could, it's that little, like, ah. but it ain't like crazy to where like fucking you up. But it's it's definitely like a loud. So like you you hear this motherfucker like coming like yeah when you like before when you like behind me, and then like you hit the gas you could hear it but like now you can hear it for sure that. You like got your foot in the gas. Even I'm behind you. So like when I'm behind you, no diddy. So <laughs> but so okay, so when you're in front of me in traffic, right? And you pedal to the metal, can you still hear my car? Yes. You can hear the motor. That's crazy. You can hear the motor for sure, but you hear the exhaust like a subtle exhaust, but then when you about damn near comes like the back end of the car, you hear all the exhaust. Like wow. it's definitely I'm about to get the keys out of the car. So, um we're gonna do a remote start on both of the cars real quick. We're gonna get a warm start on the scat pack right here. So how this sound. Alright, shit. So then I'm gonna give y'all a warm start on the Catalyst SRT 392. Shut up, bitch. Hey, hey. So start your car back up. Oh fuck. Oh my god, we can't let's check his lights on cut off. So start yours up and then we're gonna see like what you as soon as we take a horn turn yours on, we see it like on the power. Alright. So like a Damn. <laughs> Bro, it's definitely a difference, bro. Bro, this voice on like the fire breathing dragon. Y'all hear that light? Bro. We gotta get the cartoon. When we get the cartoon, we can get the check engine light tuned out. Get in there and show y'all how the mid muffler scat pack sound. Now he gonna give y'all a few revs real quick. It, it's not like it's quiet at all, bro. Automatically warm start is loud as hell. Bro, that shit sounds crazy. Bro, bro. That shit sounds crazy. Bro, bro, what? Bro. 
Bro. That shit, I ain't gonna lie, I did feel like my ear, like, yeah. get pierced a little bit, bro. Catalyst, Scat Pack, SRT, whatever, Catalyst 392 is a crazy ass way to go. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not more than going Catalyst because you already know we got something big coming up. I, I done told y'all before, if y'all forgot, look out in the next few videos, but, bro, this voice sound crazy. You drove my car yesterday, bro, and it sounded like, it didn't sound like it's because you wasn't just revving it, but. Yeah. Bro. Standing next to it, bro. Like, if you next to it, you hear it. Like, when you be flying past in the car, it's like, damn. Like, you got to hear it when it get up to, like, like, like 89, like, probably like 70, 80, 90. Is. On the freeway type. Well, 90, like, fuck. Not on freeway Ain't nothing wrong <laughs> type shit. 85 and the 45. That's just if the government catch you. Type shit. So, when he get a regular driver ticket for 150, y'all send the police this clip right here. <laughs> no cap. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> hey, American challenge, stop. English and Spanish. <laughs> Did I hang up? Ah! <laughs> ah, no. Now I'm trying to hit the difference between the Catalyst 392 and the Mid Muffin Delete 392. I think I'm gonna do a couple of flybys right here. Hopefully, the um, the nice police man. To say, hey, you guys. Man, I say shit to me. I tell them to shut the fuck up. Straight business. Tough guy. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> it was this nigga. <laughs> Straight business. Now that y'all heard the ribs and everything like that, I told y'all we was gonna do some flyby. So we're gonna start off with the scat pack once again. We're gonna do just a quick flyby. You know, right here, not nothing too crazy because we're in like a suburban neighborhood and everything like that. And then I'm gonna have him do my flyby and my car. As well, we'll do like a second gear pull because with first gear, the tires are gonna chirp. We don't want to leave no burnout mark. Get ready to do the first one real quick. <laughs> Bro, that's that that gear chirp is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, this one me and Muffin Relief in the downshifts sounds good. Like literally, that's the first mile you do to a scat packer like any type of V8. <laughs> It sounds nice and subtle. This just sounds like an obnoxious beast. So he been do his second pull. I think it's gonna be first gear. Now it's like he in second. Not too bad. Mid muffin delete is definitely the thing to do on any V8. That boy got that motherfucker pooping. This nigga done cooked this bitch. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Damn. But I'm about to give him the keys to the car. Here you go, Cuddy. This nigga just fucking ignore me. This whole ass nigga just, this nigga just fucking ignore me. I said, here you go, Cud. And you just walked the fuck away. We're going to give him the keys to the SRT. And then he going to do two pulls. Um, what was the first pull? I feel like you did a first gear, then you did a second gear. I did a first gear just to get it to scream, then I did a second gear for the push. Okay, boom. We can do the same thing like that. It's definitely going to be a big difference, so y'all got to stay tuned. We're almost at 10K. If you ain't like the video already, like the video, subscribe. Don't leave a comment because Big SRT started. And, uh, yeah, we need to get to 10K. We are so close to 10K. I never really asked y'all to subscribe, but I need y'all to subscribe so we can get to 10K. <laughs> Bro, the startup sounds so good. The purple lights. Oh my God, man. Sheesh, sheesh. Bro, this boy looks so mean and aggressive. He in a fast car for once. No cap. Bro, you hear it? Like, it sounds so deep. Like, so deep and aggressive. So you're gonna do the first pull. It's gonna be first and second. Bro, let me tell y'all, that sounds crazy. First and second pull. Now it's gonna be the second to the third pull. Bro, it looks so. Bro, that boy look me with the purple lights. Bro, it's so crazy as fuck. Wow.
much. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, this shit is crazy. Bro. This is... Bro. Bro, that shit is crazy. Oh, I, that shit fall over. Yeah, I ain't gonna just fail. Bro, Catlin's sound was just no. different, bro. That sound nothing, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Your car feels so I, I wonder is it like the suspension difference, bro, that I'm feeling, bro. Hellcat suspension probably. feels so much different, bro. Which feels softer? Not the softer, it feels nah, I ain't gonna say it don't feel softer. My like mine feel like an everyday driving type of type of deal. Yours feel like Damn, they're like track type, you know what I'm saying? That's why I style of track models. Track model in this car makes it bumpy as hell, which is good for like racing and uh, like going like fast and straight lines and stuff like that. But when I want to when I want to cut up, all I do is go um, sport mode. Y'all, we just not leaving our location. I'm about to have T do a flyby. I'm gonna get on the side of him and do a second gear 40 road just so y'all can see how loud the car is in traffic. I'm going 40, 50, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So we are gonna do the flyby. And then I'm gonna go grab some gas because I'm on low, he on low. I don't got the seatbelt on, so I'm gonna see y'all in the next clip. <laughs> Enough, <laughs> it might be enough for, for you, but I'm catless, so uh, yeah. got they got a Simpsons donut. <laughs> 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 Who we two next? I'll do Can I tell them what you're doing in graphics? Bro, I can't tell you you're stickers in your fucking car, bro. <laughs> Later that day. This might seem like a very long day. We have to mount the Detroit car meet. I ain't gonna they got a lot of nice cars. This is a Hellcat wide by the, you know what I'm saying? And look like it's on bags. You know, I know it's on bags. This boy sits so low to the ground. This boy is crazy. I like that. Big Hellcat ring over right here. You gotta show the Hellcat some love. You know what I'm saying? We need a Hellcat one day. They got a cat over there. Lamb right here. You know it's a Mopar world, so it's a million Mopars out here. That Paul Walker Lightning truck from Fast and Furious. I like this right here. Everybody from Detroit that watched the channel should know where I'm at. Y'all should know I'm at the Roosevelt Park. So, got a couple BMWs over there, a Supra. C8 Corvette. I like this C7 Z06. I ain't gonna lie. I think this car look familiar. I think this is one of the guys, but I'm not sure because he don't got no window stickers or nothing. So, and he racing. So, y'all might see this motherfucker in traffic and get y'all ass whooped. No cow. So, y'all, everything I'm recording right now is just like the VIP side. I am in VIP. My car is like all the way over there. I just wanted to start from the front and like walk y'all to the back. So everything can be in order. Got a GT500 right here. I ain't gonna lie, if I was to get a Mustang, it was gonna have to be a GT500. GT500 Mustang is like the only acceptable Mustang there is. Not gonna lie, but I ain't gonna lie, it is a super snake truck right there. Shelby truck, I think that's what it's called. It's parked right in front of me. I would get one of them too. Besides that, I'm a Mopar baby. I ain't gonna lie, but these is hard. If you're old head, I know you're like the Grand Nationals and everything like that and it's the one that got the turbo i don't know what this is y'all let me know in the comments what this is but mustang right here i'm trying to show love i ain't trying to be mopar biased another bagged hellcat dropped to the ground now i didn't seen this car before no you know what this ain't even car i thought it was i had seen a black first gen charger with chrome srt rims but it was a hellcat swap 
This is the standard 6.1 SRTA. So before I got my 300C, I was trying to find one of these, but I couldn't find one for like the price I wanted. So, oh, this girl driven, look. You won't catch a lot of females that's in the car scene and stuff like that, but the chrome wheels is definitely crazy. Audi R8 GT. This is one of T dream cars. T11 is so bad. I think it comes V10 and V12. I know it comes V10 and something else. I'm not sure, but T love these cars. I like the shape of it, but I don't know. Y'all let me know, would y'all get one of these or not? Cars out here with racing wheels and just fat ass tires. Like they come in the damn near race. We got a big Trackiana right here. I always had a love for the track hawks. Track hawks are crazy. I like this color. It's like a, a dark blue in the sunlight. Track car, definitely crazy. I ain't gonna lie. You can't go wrong with this. It's a SUV Hellcat. Like, you can't go wrong. Vipers, we got so many DJs here. I hope the music ain't too loud, but we pull up on the Chevy truck that I told y'all about. These are crazy. I think this got like 700 and something horsepower and then look at the front the front is so aggressive like look how like come on this look crazy you cannot tell me the Chevy trucks are not crazy like I ain't gonna lie these are freaking fire but we got the big memorial SRT right here I parked so far back because I got here like 40 minutes late so you know what I'm saying it's like that but we did get a car wash the car is looking very very good the big fat old tires in the back, tire shine, everything like that. You know, we had to come here to impress. They got demonology here. They got so many YouTubers that I've never met. Some guy who specializes in rebuilding Teslas. A lot of people came out to this place. Bringing in cars for VIP. We got an old school Regal, black with gold rims. This motherfucker looking nice. I like that, I ain't gonna lie. Plus we are fast as Nissan. See how the parachute. And it's a Nismo. Right hand drive. That's fire. I ain't gonna lie, I like that. Look at the SRT. Y'all can't even see how it zoomed in, but SRT right there. So now we are making our way to the food trucks. I was supposed to have a, a food voucher, but I guess I came here late and then I don't get one no more. I don't know. But it's all cool. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see what they got to offer. Because I ain't gonna lie, we didn't did so much stuff today and i haven't even ate yeah, they got like a barbecue vendor a donut vendor i don't want none of this but when i seen this i thought this was like from the carnival with like elephant ears and stuff like that but it don't look like i'm about to see what i'm about to get might just get a sausage no diddy fried fish y'all know i'm a fish lover i gotta see what type of fish they got because it gotta be catfish or i don't know i might get chicken tenders we'll see look at we got three tenders we got fries and then we got a large lemonade I wouldn't try to guess how much this shit came out to y'all. This shit was $28. Like, this shit is kind of crazy. Just noticed they got the new electric stage two scat pack. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know how to feel about this. They got, you see the hood scoop right here? I like the little, for the airflow. Oh, that's crazy. Like a front scoop. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this, man. I don't know. You don't like it? Maybe if it was like, if it wasn't named a Charger, probably. Yeah. It was like a different type of uh, uh, model, a different type of model of a, of a dive, but for the charger, man, this is crazy. Stage two scat packy. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. Hopefully y'all don't hear none of the copyrighted music. And this is all electric. T, it say Daytona on the back. So these Daytonas? Bro, what? I wonder if it started up though because the engine got that exhaust on it. Yeah, the electronic exhaust. Let me find out this nigga finna go electric on y'all. He finna go electric on the beast game. Hey, this big money on it. Alright, y'all, check this out. This is the end of the video. Y'all seen me and T do the red match. Y'all seen I came to a nice chill car meet at the train station. So, what's going on? So, we'll give y'all the most start of the car. Being catless, and then we're gonna get up out of here. <laughs> so with that being said, we're gonna get up out of here. Appreciate y'all so much, love y'all so much. I'm gonna see y'all when I see y'all. These people see me holding the phone for the camera, look lost as fuck. So, you know what I'm saying? Big SRT, we catless, man. I wanna give y'all another 
remote start just it's just so loud and beefy i don't know if y'all can really understand and listen to the sign you know what i'm saying let's do it one more time i don't know if it's gonna do it because now let you keep all up starting the car. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. We just came down. Hey, yo, Pluto. Let's go embrace it. Hey, for the summer is over. Hey. Let that shit ride, 88. Yeah, the next one. I ain't into the cap and let's keep it real. He could have held us, man, down. He took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, gave me chills Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped his hands in our dog, itching to do a drill 